I'm Pete and I want to demonstrate to you how you can use your freeway connector to connect three beams. This, this is a three-way connector. It's basically a knife plate connector. And it's a very easy thing to understand. But first let me explain. This is a vertical post and you're going to attach two beams on top of the vertical post with this knife plate connector. This is a regular T-Rex connector. When you, uh, when you prepare this, you, don't you cut your slot, but you don't necessarily need the, the chamfer because there is no radius on the three-way connector. So how the three-way connector works is this. First, let me explain. When we started, we were making a weldment so that this, this was all one big connector and it was very hard to ship. And, uh, of course, one piece is better than two pieces welded or three pieces welded. So we came up with this idea. You simply put the knife plate down into the beam. You put your puzzle pieces in like this. There's countersinks here, but really the only reason they're there is to, to hold everything together until you get things pinned. So I'll just put a couple of screws in just so it doesn't move around on me, which is what you would do. Let me assume. Uh, we'll assume that all the screws are in. So now you've got your, your connector down into the post. You're going to pin it here in two places, and you're ready to put your horizontal members on top. So what I've done, I've got a, a short piece here as a sample, but I also wanted to mention it's very important. <clears throat> you've got to take a piece of scrap half-inch plywood <coughs> so that when you drill your holes, when you drill your holes, they'll be the same distance as they would be normally. But you see, when you use a regular T-Rex, you're banking your drill jig against this surface, and your hole location is based from this surface to the center of the hole. So when you cut this, this piece, this no longer has the chamfer because the, the, the three-way connector doesn't have a chamfer. So you need to shim this out a half of an inch to compensate because you're not using the T-Rex. So basically, I put the drill jig on. The next thing we drill through. Actually, I would be drilling through and spotting this plate. Typically, we drill that out on a drill press, as we've shown you in some of our other videos. So now we've got the holes where they should be. I've already slotted this one. And actually, I'm really trying to demonstrate how the three-way connector works, but I'm going to... I can't miss an opportunity to show off my new pro slotter, so I'm going to slot this, this stubby part just to show you how, how good the pro slotter works. But basically, this is what's going to happen. This is going to go up here, and it's going to go to the center of the beam. You're going to pin it, and then you're going to do exactly the same thing with this, this piece on this side. So what it's doing now, this is a knife plate connection. This one plate is getting pinned here, three pins here, and there'll be three pins on this one that's coming in, that's butting end to end, end grain to end grain, over the vertical post. Ties this whole thing together with one plate. 